Hi folks, today I am going to show you one of the important Excel function which is count ifs. This function counts the number of cells that meet single or multiple criteria in same or different range. Here is the syntax of formula count if criteria range 1. This is a range where we want to check for the condition to count the cell and criteria 1 is a condition itself. So this is a one set of uh, criteria. We can keep adding multiple ranges and criteria. So as I mentioned, this formula works on multiple criteria, on same or different range. Okay, so to understand this formula better, let's look into one of the example. So here is my data set which is property posted for rent and it has various details like uh, when this property was posted, what is a BHK and in which city this property is available, who is a point of contact, it is an owner or agent. To really explore this counted formula, what I am going to do is, I am going to write a formula which will give us the number of property posted in a specific city. So this is one condition. Then we'll extend the same count if formula where we are going to add two conditions along with city. We'll ask for the BHK also. So it will be something like in a city of Bangalore, give me the count of property of one BHK. So this becomes two conditions. Then we'll extend it further for three conditions, which will be something like give me the property count in Bangalore city of a specific BHK where point of contact is going to be the agent. So here we have added the three conditions. Let's move on to looking into this formula. So I'll move to the practice sheet here. Okay. So now uh, it's just with one condition first. So count ifs. Then I go here to the data set. What is the range where we want to check for the city? This is a column which is having a detail of city. So I select this column, put the comma, go back to the practice sheet, count the cell where this range is equal to Delhi. That is all. So this is just one condition. I put the enter. So this shows me 605. Okay. We just added the one condition. Now if we want to add two conditions where city is equal to the value entered here and number of BHK is 1. Okay, so these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 BHK. So I'll again do count ifs. Go to the house rent. Okay, sheet. Select the city. If this first part is going to be similar to the previous calculation where this is going to be Delhi. Now we are going to add the second condition. Second condition we want the BHK. So go back here. In column B, if any of the cell is equal to the value with one BHK, give me the count. So now we have added the two condition. First condition was uh, having a value as Bangalore and second is uh, BHK is equal to one. Enter. Okay. Now I can drag this formula down, but there will be a problem. Let's see that. Yeah, this is giving a zero. Okay, so this value is zero. That means, okay, if I double click, it shows, okay, in place of Delhi, actually it started referring to 605. So Delhi was uh, C11 where, because I did not use the fixed reference. That's why this is uh, changing the formula. So let's go back here and modify this to a fixed reference. So first part of this criteria where it is referring to Delhi is C11. So I'll make it a fixed reference. And after this, if I'll drag it, this should not be a problem. Great. So it is here. It, we have added a two condition or this is showing a count of in Delhi city. One BHK posting count is 160. Two BHK count is 254. So we were successful in adding two conditions. Now let's see the example of adding a three conditions. Uh, we can copy it again, but for the practice, I'm going to write this formula again, count ifs, and then go back to this city. City, I want to be similar to what is present in this uh, cell, which is Delhi as of now, but any value which is present in C11. Next is a BHK. BHK, I want uh, the value which is present in this cell. 
along with that i want the condition where contact point is contact owner so this is a third condition i go to this contact and this value needs to be equal to the column which is here and again as i'll be dragging this formula down so i'll make this fixed reference that is all very simple put that and then i'll drag it down great <laughs> again here it is showing zero so do you know why this is showing zero what could be the problem here again there uh, we have to correct the reference here reference c11 is a deli so i'll make this as a fixed reference so that this value will not change and then we'll be able to uh, pull this down great so we successfully added the third condition also now if we want to write the same formula only with the difference that contact point is contact agent in place of contact owner so we can copy this formula itself in the next cell with some modification with just copy it's not going to work okay so let's look into the things why it is not working so when we are copying a formula from one cell to the other cell there will be some references which gets modified so here uh, from house rent data sheet it is referring column i for uh, city and column c for bhk and column m for the contact point so let's go and see if this is correct so for city it is actually h in place of i and for bhk it is b in place of c and contact point is column l in place of column m so as we have moved this formula from one cell to other there was a uh, this reference has also incremented by one so i'll change it to h to refer to the right range as these range have been uh, modified with this formula copy and paste this is b and here this was l okay so we have changed the reference but still it is showing zero now next thing to see is that what are the cells it is referring in this sheet it is referring city as delhi which is correct bhk it is referring cell uh, c 13 in place of b 13 okay so this one is something which we have to modify and then what was the next one it is referring to contact owner in place of contact agent cell contact owner cell is d11 and contact agent is e11 so that means this needs to be modified to e enter that's all and just drag it and we are done okay so in this video we have learned how to add single or multiple criteria to count the items hope you have enjoyed uh, this video